Rihanna Chicken Fry LaPaglia blindsided by her breakup with Zach Bryan and Dave Portnoy, her podcast co-host, is giving us a closer look at the pair's relationship before their shocking split. Now here to break it all down for us is reality TV reporter Caroline Blair. Let's start off with Brianna. She was blindsided by the breakup. Can you just take us through what happened? Yeah, so Zach announced their breakup on Monday in an Instagram story, a classic black and white post like, it was mutual, I did it, uh, he kind of made it sound like he was the one who initiated the split. And then just a few hours later, Brianna posted on her Instagram story that she was blindsided and taking a break from social media. But then um, shortly after that, she released about a three minute video of her. It was really emotional, she was crying, you could tell she was sitting in her apartment and just kind of, you know, dealing with everything that was going on and she said she was blindsided about the post she said that he didn't text her he didn't call her to let her know that this was going up and it was right after fans had already kind of been speculating that you know they might have split but still she claimed that he didn't tell her that he, she, like he was going to make this public and that you know she wasn't necessarily ready for it to be public obviously by releasing this kind of last minute video. Now people were actually texting her. That's kind of how she found out, right? Yeah, she said she woke up and she thought like her dad died because everyone was blowing up her phone saying, are you okay? Are you okay? What do you need? Because I mean, she didn't really get into it, but she didn't really say who she told prior to Zach even announcing it. So she didn't even say if she got a chance to tell her close friends or not. So we Man. don't even know that. That's horrible. Now, mm -hmm. of course, you got to love the loyalty that Dave has because he always has her back, especially uh, when he threw shade at Zach online. And he put up a Taylor Swift song referencing like this whole breakup. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So Dave and Brianna um, work together on this podcast called BFFs, also with Josh Richards, this TikToker. And, you know, they're a very funny bunch, but they are loyal to their core. And so right after Zach posted this thing and right after Brianna said she was blindsided, um, Dave, who's a huge Swifty, took to his Twitter, obviously, and tweeted out a lyric song to Swift's song, The Smallest Man Who Lo Ever Lived, which, you know, kind of speaks for itself. <laughs> and, you know, kind of wrote, like, dedicating this one to you at Brianna Chicken Fry. So I think it was obviously some shade. Um, and that was just the beginning of it, it seems like. It does, because then Dave went on a podcast, mm -hmm. and he shared two different stories, and he opened up about Zach and explaining why he wasn't a fan of the guy. Yes, so Dave obviously never holds back, and he's not about to start now. No. <laughs> so he first kind of said, you know, just vaguely, like, I, I don't really like the guy, I'm not a fan. He was asked if he was, like, a hater, and he just kind of said, you know, I I've never been a fan. Um, when asked if, you know, Brianna knew, Dave was kind of like, I, I think she did, but I never really talked to her about it. And then he said he had two stories, but he waited initially to get her approval. So, you know, he waited. And then when he did get her approval, he told these two stories. The first time happened at the Super Bowl, right before the Super Bowl in Vegas. And he claimed that himself and Josh Richards, their other co-host, you know, were going to Las Vegas for the Super Bowl. They saw that Zach was doing a concert there right before. They said, you know, Brianna said we could come, like it was gonna be like a whole BFFs thing. And then he claimed that, you know, hours before the concert, Brianna called him and was like, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're banned from the concert. Why did he, why did he get banned? So I guess six months prior to this happening, it was right when Brie and Zach started dating. And I guess Dave was a little thrown off by it and made kind of a joke, a snarky comment, like you have a quote unquote revolving door of boyfriends. And Zach did not like that. And I guess he allegedly held on to that for a few months and he was not allowed in the con and yeah, Dave and Josh were not allowed at the concert. They didn't go. So that was the first anecdote. And then the second anecdote, anecdote happened a few months later when Brianna was at the Golden Globes. Um, she got the chance to do a red carpet interview and I, I guess she said something like, you know, she was, she was asked, who were you excited to see? She said some guy because he looked nice or handsome or good looking, you know, something along those lines. Zach saw it, did not like it, and allegedly unfollowed Brie, blocked the BFFs podcast Instagram account. So Dave obviously did not like that and, you know, went on to call him an insecure baby, a fraud, 
all the, all the terms. <laughs> and immature. I mean, really, who is the immature one here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. So it's just kind of, I mean, this is, I feel like this is really just like the beginning. I mean, Brianna hasn't even really spoken up that much about it. And, you know, she's expected to do another BFFs podcast, which um, for next week. So maybe we'll get more of her side of the story. But yeah, it definitely sounds like Dave was not a fan and he's just starting to unload. Oh my goodness. Well, of course, we'll keep you up to date over at page6.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well.